my name is Alexion Life, and in this video I want to show a quick example of a, uh, a Java application that is being compiled to RealVM native image and how you can configure that for uh, to use reflection, JNI, proxies and other dynamic features of language for, for using in the native image. The configuration is JSON files that is kind of sort of easy to produce, straightforward, but it's hard maybe to uh, understand that you need to produce them when you don't fully understand what your application is doing. So the easy way to configure a native image to use your, with your application that uses reflection or proxies or method handles or serialization uh, or other dynamic features is to use a Java agent that can trace the runtime of your application uh, and output the configuration for you. So this is what we're going to do here right now. Uh, this, I have a sample application here, which is a very simple application. We just have a main method that takes some arguments and then based on the argument values, it instantiates the, the classes and call the methods that it want to, you want to, right? So it, it is fully configured from the common line arguments and then it dynamically uses the classes. Let's quickly see that in action, right? So we can do Java C reflection example and compile the class. And then we can do, uh, we can run that and say that we want to use the string reverser class, the reverse method on the hello string and it works. Now, if we would build the native image for this, we would do it like that. We would call the native image. We say that we don't want any fallback, even if you encounter some unconfigured reflection use anything like this and we pass the class then the static analysis will see that we want to use the reflection example class and it will see that we want to compile that but there are no references to the other classes like string reverser in the code of the reflection example so that will not be included automatically into the native binary that we are producing so naturally if we run the actual produce binary, right? So we see that there is a reflection example binary now. If you run this with the same arguments, then we get the class not found exception because this string reverser class was not included into our application. So to alleviate this, you really need to provide the configuration. And the easiest way for that is to prepare that by running the Java agent. So I'm going to create the directory called meta -inf native image, which is the default location where the native image utility will look for the configuration later when we're going to build the native image. And I'm going to use the following command line, which I will explain in a second. We run our application using Java, normal Java runtime. We say that we want to include the native image agent and we configure that the agent to have the output directory just be created meta -inf native image. And we run our application the same way that we have the reflection example class passing those parameters. And of course, it does exactly the same. But now if we look, we have the uh, we have the meta inf native image directory and we have a bunch of con a bunch of files there. So, for example, we can look at the reflect config, which contains the configuration for the reflection, and it says that that's a JSON file that says that we want to include the string reverser class and the reverse method with parameters that takes the string. Now we would also can run the same agent with the another example with the capitalizer. And then if we look at the configuration again, so we, we did specify that we would like to merge the configurations. So here it is. We have both of them in our thing, in our configuration. So now, since this is a default location, we don't have to actually specify anything. So we just run native image as usual, uh, just saying that, oh, try to compile the reflection example. Now, of course, a native image configuration will be picked up from this default location in the meta inf directory, and now our application will run very, very well. So after the native compilation succeeds and we have the binary, we can run that and we can actually use that to specify, for example, the string reverser class on the common line. And that class is included in the image. Uh, so if we do reverse and we do the same 
hello world we can see uh, we can see that it actually works perfectly well so this is it this is the easiest way to configure your application for uh, using the dynamic features with the Grantium native image and those dynamic features include reflection serialization method handles usage proxies JNI and uh, probably something else which I forgot so all that is in the documentation but this is one of the most uh, frequently asked features and this is what people don't uh, know enough about so please share this video and uh, I think uh, this will be useful for many many developers thank you very much and see you next time